Hey everyone, Tyler Edders here with a Markov sequencer. So there are three nodes in this Markov chain. We've got A, B, and C. These correspond to these pads of four here, A, B, and C. Um, pathways are illustrated here. So A can go from A back to itself. B can go from B back to itself. C can go from C back to itself. C can go to B, B can go to A. A can go to B, B can go to C. We control the probability of which ones with these chains here. So when you see this lit up here, that means that there's a 50% probability that we're gonna go to A, and there's a 50% probability that we're gonna go to B. So these two are linked together. So if we change this to 90%, this is gonna go down to 1%. Um, these ones work the same uh, with B, however, it, there's three different paths it can take, and that's a mysterious but consistent black box for how the algorithm there works. Um, then you can set the notes with the pads. So again, all four of these buttons do the same thing for each one. So press the pad down, um, then here's your keyboard. So uh, black keys, off keys are black, white keys, on keys are white, and then you can pan up and down the keyboard here. Um, starts right here, this button does nothing, and then these two nudge your tempo up and down. So let's give it a listen. Let's trap it in C. We set the probability to 100 here, so it's just gonna loop here forever. Let's trap it back into A. That's it.